Hey guys, how you doing? Austin Hilton here with a video around a very cool company, a company called Skills. This is a company that is one of the leaders and innovators in the mobile gaming market, specifically the esports market. This company is actually a pretty amazing company. Um, the suggestion for this video came from one of you guys here, uh, one of the members in the channel. And after doing some research for the last two or three plus days, I uh, found a real piece of inter interesting um, uh, information about this company and uh, wanted to bring this to you. This is a company that is grossly undervalued right now. I'm extremely bullish on this company. Again, it's Skills and they are a leader. They are running at 95 plus percent gross margins and will, uh, in the if they're not right now, in the very near future, will be running at 30 plus earnings before interest, tax, depreciation, amortization, EBITDA. 30% uh, EBITDA is insane uh, and 95% plus gross margins is absolutely astronomical. Um, the company's been beat up dramatically in the last month or so. In fact, its, it's stock has plunged by 50 plus percent really to no fault of their sales. Um, they've been just hit by the market declines and the market corrections that we've been going through in the last seven plus eight weeks, give or take. So this is a really cool video. Stick around. I've got a real piece of interesting uh, article uh, information for you. Apologize. It's morning and I'm, I got allergies killing me and I haven't, haven't, haven't had my coffee yet, but I want to get this video out for you guys. So I'm a little out of it, just, to, just a little bit on allergy medication. For those of you guys who remember my channel, you know I've been fighting allergies for the last uh, week or so uh, in April. Allergies just crush me. Anyway, let's do this. Let's get to this in a minute. And um, I want to make sure that you know that this vi this video is for entertainment purposes only. And please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already done so. I'm here making videos for you every single day. My goal is real simple. I'm a 30 plus year investor and I really just want to bring you these videos to help you guys make more money, make you aware of new different new stocks, new opportunities you may not be aware of. I frankly wasn't aware of skills. Um, it, it, you know, it, it's not a sector that I, I pay attention to a lot, but I'm going to start paying attention to. These guys are crushing it. Um, this is one that I am very seriously thinking about adding to my portfolio. I'm very bullish on this. Uh, I'm going to give you guys a price target today um, and you're going to like it. I think that there's a tremendous amount of opportunity in this company. And, uh, and so we're going to we're going to dive into that here in a minute. OK, so um, yeah, drop a like on the video if you could. That helps me in the channel. See, I'm a little little out of it, a little fuzzy. <laughs> Drop a like on the video. Let's get through this. Let's go take a look at what's going on with skills. Okay, so as promised, here we go with skills. So I'm going to get into really what they do here in a minute, but we're going to real quick look at their chart. And really what I want to show you on the chart is only one thing. I want to show you looking at a six-month view of their chart. I want to show you that they reached their, their high there on February 5th of 43.72. And if we look at the if we look at the drop, this first part of the drop. So getting into like late mid February into March and hitting right here on March 8th and 9th, that is the three, four plus week um, market correction we had where the NASDAQ lost about a thousand points. Okay. The stock rebounded just a little bit, very nicely actually, rebounded 28% uh, after that decline. And then we get hit with another market correction right here where the NASDAQ uh, really predominantly the NASDAQ and some, to somewhat the, the Dow basically just kind of redid their market correction thing again. So overall, if you look, if you go back, we've had a approximately about a 58% correction or not correction, downturn, downshift, <laughs> pressure, I'll get it, on this stock. Okay. And so again, no fault of their, of them, of themselves. There's been no bad press on this company. Nothing real, nothing negative coming out on it. Um, the everybody's extremely bullish on this company. So you're looking at a 50 plus percent um, having of this stock. It is a massive buying opportunity right now at these levels. Okay, and again, I am I'm I'm most likely going to pick up some shares of this for myself. So I want to thank uh, the channel member who suggested me do this video because I was like, wow. Okay, so all right, so that's the six month deal. Wanted to show you that that again, we've lost about 50%, actually over 50% of the value uh, related to the, to the share price. Let's go look at the piece of information that I've got for you real quickly. Here we go. Okay, so skills stock is too cheap to ignore to below 20 bucks. I firmly believe that, okay? When I saw this piece of information, I, I, I looked at about four or five different pieces of information and I just kept coming back to this one because I thought this was a really good, very straightforward, 
Um, look at the stock, what they do uh, as a company, how they do it, how they're how they're disrupting their market. You know, you guys know who, who members of my channel. I love disruptors. Disruptors to me are companies that come in and they disrupt the market and they really mess up their competition. And as a stockholder investor, that is good for us because it benefits us because it helps uh, the company that we're obviously invested in. Okay. So here we go. Okay, so if you don't know anything really about this company, I'm gonna give you a real quick explanation of what they do, how they do it, how they make money. It's very interesting. It's not what I thought it was, okay? Because I thought I kind of knew what they did, but when I understood their technology and their platform, I was like, oh wow, this is really, really cool. Okay, so again, uh, this is really cool. Here we go. So they're a mobile esports technology firm, okay? That's what they do. Uh, we just talked about how they were real hot, how they how they dropped their value, okay? The plunge is a golden buying opportunity, absolutely. I, we talked about the growth. It was kind of the, the meltdown in February, March. Again, it's been ruthless. It wasn't any fault of their own that the stock dropped, okay? And, and high quality growth stocks like Skills will benefit and will come back because this, this company has extremely strong fundamentals and extremely strong financials and we're gonna get into that, okay? So it's a pioneering game changing technology platform. It re and it's going to revolutionize how mobile apps make money. And I really want to, we're going we're gonna to get in that in a minute about how they make money. And, and again, I, I thought I knew what they did. I don't, I didn't, excuse me. Now I do, right? And now I'm like, wow, this is amazing what the company does. Okay. So again, they are a mobile gaming platform, right? So it's a company that's going to grow its revenues and profits by hundreds of percent percent over the next years. I actually believe that. When I saw that sentence, initially I'm like, yeah, okay. I didn't quite understand it or believe it. Excuse me. I understood it. Again, allergies. I'm here. I got you guys. Okay. So the, the, the short-term weakness is a long-term opportunity. Here we go. So the long-term bull, bull thesis on skills really comes down to three points. I thought this was really interesting. So mobile gaming is the future. I agree with that. Again, right? Mobile devices. Okay. The mobile gaming market is currently undergoing a massive shift towards mobile esports. Okay, that one that one sentence got my attention. Okay, and I'm gonna, we're going to explain more about that here in just a minute. Okay, Skills is optimally positioned to create the technology infrastructure supporting the mobile esports industry. They are an innovator. They're really the first in the market to do this. They're a disruptor, and their technology is going to lock out competition. Okay, and I'll explain to that here in a minute. Okay. Again, we know that everything's going mobile these days. Gaming is no exception. 2.6 billion people across the world play mobile games, mostly because they're accessible, fast, and offer great uh, entertainment. I agree. I have a golfing game on here that I play. I have spades on here that I play. I'm sure you got your own. I play them when I'm bored or when I have a few extra minutes here and there. It's just the truth, right? So. Um, these gamers also open up their wallets for games. Mobile games generated $77.2 billion worth of revenue in 2020, up 13% year over year. This trend of double digit growth in the mobile game industry is expected to persist, per persist for the foreseeable future. Okay. This one's paragraph right here is what really got my attention. Okay. I, I agree with it about 80%. And when I, here's what, here's what I'm telling you. So despite the huge popularity of growth in mobile gaming, the economics underlying mobile games are broken, okay? Most of these games are free to play, right here. Most of these games are free to play, so they monetize through ads, okay? But consumers don't click ads on mobile games, and therefore advertisers don't spend, don't spend much money on those ineffective ads. I agree with that sentence. I have a spades game on here, okay? I play spades. Um, and I play against the computer, okay? And so what I want to tell you is that it's, it's it, every time between every hand it shows me an ad I do not pay attention I'm waiting to click to, to, to get past it but what I wish that space would do is give me the ability to pay to not get to, to get rid of the ads I would do that okay so I do not click on the ads I agree with his statement there but I'm also um, I would I would I would pay for no ads and secondly um, the spades doesn't offer me the opportunity to pay to get different things. Now the golfing game on here um, is a coin based system and it gives me the opportunity to pay and get coins to, to play higher, higher rounds and things like that. So those are two different revenue models that he doesn't really address in this, in this article that I think are out there because really what he basically says was 
he says in the article that 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 the entire big opportunity is mobile esports. It's basically people joining and playing competitions. I agree with that. I agree. I agree with that for a large for the for a huge percentage of the market, right? Which is what he's talking about because that's really what Skills does. They're the, they're a platform for like esports and competitions. People who playing playing against each other on on these mobile games. And there's always going to be hundreds of millions or maybe a billion or war that will want to do that at some, you know, and, and, but there are also other people like me who I really don't want to play competitions per se. I just like to play against myself, but there are other revenue models is all I'm really saying. Now I'm, I'm only bringing that up to point out that, that this is still a massive, huge, huge market. I mean, it's a billion dollar industry. It is. Okay, so right here, the fi the fix is a shift from mobile advertising to mobile esports. Get rid of the ads because I, I agree they're irritating. They don't I don't pay attention to them, etc. So in the mobile esports model, mobile apps turn their games into real money, skills based competition where people are competing against each other, right? Where gamers pay an entry fee into a competition or tournament and then win prize money if they win the competition. I agree with that completely. I think there are billions of people across the across the United States and world, not across the world, hundreds of million people in the United States who will do that. I agree with that fundamentally. But there are also different revenue models, but ads are junk. Okay. All right. Of course, because humans love to compete with each other and love the chance to make money, gamers open up their wallets for these tournaments. And because app developers take a commission off entry fee, the pivot towards mobile esports dramatically improves the broken economics of mobile gaming. I agree. Okay, then, thus over the next few years, you'll see mobile gaming explode, mobile app ads disappear, and mobile esports becomes ubiquity. I mean, that is true. If I got better at spades, I would most likely join like competitions, right? It, but it's not really what I care about. But I know I have friends that do that do that would do that. You know, poker, obviously. Just I mean, the the the, type, the list of games is endless, right? Okay. The mobile esports technology leader, that is skills. That is why this company has a massive opportunity in front of themselves. Okay, the company supplies the mission critical technology infrastructure that allows any old competitive skills based game to turn a mobile esports title with real money into competitions and tournaments. What that sentence, this, this is where it gets this interesting. This is what I want you to understand. Skills themselves does not develop the, the games. They are just the platform, the technology, the infrastructure to allow somebody, listen to that sentence I just read you. So if, let's say that I had developed a, a, a game and I developed it two years ago and I developed a, um, a spades game. I developed a spades game, okay? I, and that, that, and I let's say initially I monetized that game with ads and things like that. And I, if I wanted to re-monetize that, that game, I could bring it to skills, put it on their platform and their platform turns it into a comp and almost immediately, seamlessly turns it into a competition-based esports they have to pay an entry fee and I get paid and Skills gets paid. That is a win-win for the developer community. Also, it's a win-win because Skills is not developing the games. They're not doing anything. They're and they're getting a cut and a piece of every of of thousands and tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands or how many app developers there are that develop these games to bring them the games to them. That's why this is a massive opportunity. Okay. So I just said this. So let's say a mobile developer mobile developer who made a skills-based card game back in 2015, but the card struggled to sell ads over the past few years. They could put it on skills, integrate my gaming source code with the company's tech platform, and seamlessly turn it into a mobile esports platform with real money wagers and prize tournaments. Very, very cool. Why would I do that as a developer? Well, because I get paid for a game that's probably not making me much money anyway, okay? Okay, so Skills has a, has a proven track record of meaningfully improving mobile gaming economics. The average revenue per user of games built on the Skills Tech platform hovers above $6 versus less than $2 for ad-based games. That's a triple tripling of the revenue per person playing. As an app developer, you bet I want my game to be on that platform, right? Okay, so here's the competitive advantage that Skills has over their competition. They have an anti-cheat algorithm and it's a very big and very durable advantage. They have this anti-cheat platform that algorithm, excuse me, that so people can't cheat. So every so it's it's fair and that's really what people who are entering these sport these tournaments they want. They want the game to be fair, right? So a strong anti-cheat anti algorithm is the most important 
piece of any esports game, the mobile game. The strength of the, of the algorithm is turned by the volume and granularity of real-time gaming data that informs it. And since Skills is the largest platform and the largest technology platform to do this, they have the, the biggest and most robust gaming data lake. I love that term, data lake, which the company has turned around to build the industry's best anti-cheat algorithm. There you go. They are strategically positioned to dominate the mobile esports technology infrastructure market. Remember, they don't make these games, okay? So they don't have to worry about development costs or any of that kind of stuff. They just get a cut of everything. Um, Skill stock should perform because this, these guys are the leader in this space. Okay, let's look at their financials real quickly. Again, not a deep dive here. You guys know I don't do deep, 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 deep uh, technical uh, fundamental analysis. Monthly users has rose 20% year over year. Average revenue per user rose 60%. Gross market volume rose 80%. Revenues rose 95%. Gross margins were stable at a draw dropping 95%. Remember I said that at the very beginning of the video. 95% because skills provide software services through highly scalable technology infrastructure. Therefore runs at insanely high gross margins. I mean, goodness gracious. The guide came in strong calling for 60% revenue growth year over year, or excuse me, next year, I apologize. Um, operationally, they are doing everything right. Okay, so they are expanding in, into, they're expanding into new games. They're enabling new gaming genres, ranging from real-time strategy to fighting to racing to first-person shooters. The company is also scoring big content deals. Listen to this, such as a multi-year partnership with the NFL and a big-time contract win with popular arcade game, Big Buck Hunter. Skills is also looking to expand quickly into India, a new market where mobile gaming is huge, 137 million gamers and growing rapidly, 26% growth in gamers per year. That's insane. Um, alongside the sustained enormous growth, Skills stock will bounce back to its February highs and then some. Okay, um, let's see. Thanks to growing popularity, mobile sports skills, and a cheek algorithm, uh, Skills continue to grow and, and from in double digit pace to the year 2030. I agree with the, with the guy who wrote this article. It's crazy. Revenue growth should exceed 15% for the next decade. Gross margins will remain at around 95% and their EBITDA margins have, have, have runway to 30% in time. Plugging these into the valuation models calculates a fair price for of, of skill stock at $50. Okay, let me show you guys real quickly because you guys know every now and then I do, I do look at this. Let me show you what tip rank says that this uh, this is the analyst let me show you what they say this stock is skills okay skills they are putting a a target of thirty dollars on this particular stock it's currently trading at 1875 we saw that at thirty dollars that's a 63 percent upside the art the author of this article puts their valuation at 40. i'm going to split the difference i think that it's a i'm, I'm 50 i apologize i think it's a 40 I think it's a thirty to fifty dollars stock, but I think it's forty in the range. It's it look, guys. Remember, it already showed that it could do this. It hit forty three seventy two. So I think this is a forty to fifty plus dollar stock um, in the next twelve months. You guys know that's how I look at stocks. That's how I, I look at. That's how I want them to do. Um, that's how that's how I I view them as twelve months allergies. Again, I view them as a twelve month investment. So a few final thoughts. Again, my apologies if I'm a little out of it allergies <laughs> and no caffeine but this I made this video very very early in the morning I wanted to get it to you guys um, yeah I this is a this company's a winner I I, I um, you guys know me I don't pull any punches I was really not aware of this company it was a suggestion from the user and but when I started looking at it and doing looking at what they do and how they did it I thought they were just another kind of mobile platform out there kind of doing their thing, making making games, things like that. And I was really impressed with this company's business model. And again, they're a disruptor, they're the first in their market. Um, the anti-cheat and anti-cheat algorithm and how and because they are the infrastructure, they don't have the cost of development. They're running at 95% gross margins. That's in that's insane. Um, and 30 plus percent projected EBITDA. I mean 30% EBITDA, that is crazy, crazy high numbers. Um, this is this is a very interesting stock. Run it through your own due diligence and see if it fits for you. Um, I like this play because it's kind of outside. It's outside of EV. It's it's kind of its own arena, and it's gonna and it's gonna continue to get bigger and bigger and bigger. I have a I have a son, a 12, 12 year old son, and he plays these games on his phone all the time. Does and he's and he's actually asked me a couple times to join like these little competitions and stuff. And 
frankly, I didn't, I, I hadn't really paid attention to him a little bit. You know, for those of you guys have kids, you know what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, this has got to be, this is the company that's behind a lot of these uh, games running these these entry fee competitions and they're making a ton. So hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Um, as always, I really enjoyed making this for you and I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you later in the next video. Again, I've already said that twice. Sorry guys, out of it, but I want to get this to you. Enjoy your day. Take care. You guys know I'm here for you every single day. I care about helping you guys make more money in the stock market. That's what I care about. So let's go do it. See you.